<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting. We are starting today because my man is here. My man is not waiting. He is ready to unload. He is ready to absolutely devastate. Looks like he got his eyes back. Angry Ram Man, what happened? I thought you donated the eyes. It's back. Because two days match over, it's like temporary. Like match every match days, I'm going to donate and again return back within one day. So it's like that. <laughs> horrible, horrible, pathetic. Because I have to watch other things also, right? <laughs> you got to watch the movies. Of course, you have to do the movie reviews and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, brother, I want to talk to you about, I don't know if you've seen some madness that's been happening. Um, firstly, there's a latest news that's out. Reese James, apparently, after the Everton loss, you know how we lost? We got humbled by Everton. He not humbled, we got humiliated. humiliated. And it's not, it's not defeat. They're saying it's defeat today. It's not defeat today. It's defeat every day. Eat, every sleep, lose, day. repeat. Eat, sleep, <laughs> eat, sleep, lose, repeat. That's it. That's the cycle going on and on and on and on. That's it. It's not a, it's not a, new, it's not a new defeat. It's, 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 a, it's more defeat. That's what I'm saying. It's more defeat. So guess what Reese James did? Instead of going home, Reese James took all the players to a fancy restaurant and after that to a nightclub to bond for a bonding session. <laughs> what do you, what yeah, do that's, you what a player, uh, that's what they'll do. Only fans, Jackson, only fans guy. <laughs> then other guys, that, that's what they'll be doing. It's other than football, they're doing everything, isn't it? <laughs> Taking the salary, other than football, they'll do everything. They are all-rounders. Okay, <laughs> other than football, we can do everything. Just like how engineers, other than engineering, they'll be doing anything they can do, like other things. So like that only they're behaving. <laughs> like engineers can do anything other than engineering. Like exactly. That. They can do they can do finance. They can do yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, do, so they're behaving lawyer. like that. Come on, man. Your main priority is at least play football properly, at least so, show some pride, passion, dignity, nothing. Absolutely nothing is. They have taken the place for granted. Means I think this team seriously, none of the players I I like none of the players, man. The most un means, uh, means unlikable bunch of players these players are. Not even a single player I'm a fan of. Like, not even a single player I, I like who is playing for the passion for the means worth passion supporting. For pride of this They're not club. worth supporting. They're really not worth backing or supporting. They're so exactly. unlikable. I thought Sterling will do something this season. He'll be some magical. No magic, nothing. Lost it. Absolutely lost it. Seeing other players, he also lost his confidence. It's a disaster, man. Ma against Manchester United, who is absolutely on tatters, they have conceded 28 shots. They Everyone have conceded. Everyone is laughing at Man United. Everyone. Exactly. And, and then they dumped it on It was us. a guaranteed victory that day. And on top of that, they have lost. Like, they got hum means embarrassing that one was. Like, they couldn't even string two passes together. They can't even string two passes together. So, what are you doing? You cannot even string two passes together. You cannot even defend. You cannot even keep the lead in Arsenal match. You are winning the match. And in the last moment, they are scoring two goals. You are allowing teams to come back. You cannot even keep the lead. You cannot even hold on to the lead. You cannot even take the lead. You cannot even defend. You cannot even shoot. You cannot even string passes together. You cannot even give true passes. You cannot even hold the ball. Striker is incompetent. Then what is your day? Then why are you there? Why are you taking salaries? Leave all the players, and on top of that, none of uh, our captain is not right back. He's B B R B B right back. After two <laughs> matches, he'll be playing. Then after that, he'll be going to the hospital and be right back. I'm not right back. I'm be right back. He's basically no discipline whatsoever. <laughs> on top of that, on top of that, he's getting suspended also. Still, we have won that match though against Brighton. He didn't ha taking, hamper us, taking, uh, hamper us that much. But but he's taking the players to restaurant. Come on. <laughs> it's gone case, man. It's finished. Finished. This season is worse than last season also. Like that we are going, we are becoming irrelevant day by Bro, day. Are you, are you shocked? Are you shocked what is happening? Like, did you expect that this would happen again? We would copy paste last season. Are you shocked? Against Manchester United, I was really shocked. With the performance we have given against City and Arsenal, I thought against Manchester United, we'll give some performance, same level of performance we'll give. Because against top six sides, we are playing really well. So I thought that, okay, we'll play well against Manchester United, this thing. But against Manchester United, the performance they have given, seriously, and against Everton, it's a final nail in the coffin. It's relegated, basically. Relegated team. I wouldn't be surprised if we are even finishing 15-16th also. Really. I mean, perfect tribute to the 15-16 season. It will be. Perfect tribute. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, uh, you know, uh, to that particular season. Bro, um, yesterday, I don't know if you saw this, Jurgen Klopp in the press conference uh, they were talking about something and then, uh, you know, transfer business. And he then laughed at Chelsea saying, 
Uh, we were going after a few midfielders. Uh, luckily, it didn't happen. We can see what's happening to them. You know, more or less. Everybody will laugh. Kaysido and Liverpool were not even. No, no, no. If Kaysido would have gone to Liverpool, or if Lavia would have gone to Liverpool, their physios are more professional. By now, Lavia would be playing in the Premier League for sure. Our physios are also not even good enough. Even they cannot even. Where is Nkunku and Lavia? Are they even signed? I God only knows. I think they didn't sign the contract. That's why they're not, not making debut. I think the contract has has uh, gone into the means uh, uh, potty pan. In the potty pan inside, they are flushed. That's why I think they are searching underground. Borwell, there means in the cutter, they are searching their contract. That's why they are not making debut. From last one month, two months, I'm saying Nkunku will make debut against Newcastle. Nkunku will make debut against Manchester United. Now five games have passed, still no debut, no sign of debut also. So when he'll come, he'll come after we get relegated. That time Nkunku will make an appearance and he'll say bye bye. Thank you for your memories. We played three games. Thank you for 50 million, and I will leave. So that's what will happen. We are not a serious club anymore. Angry rant man, like literally, every, I've never seen this in my life. Other managers are laughing at us. Eric Ten Hag says, Chelsea don't like to defend. Then you have Sean Dyche saying, you can have all the possession, we find solution to win. And then Jurgen Klopp publicly laughing at us. Of course. Right. Like, look, at, look at look at the signing McAllister. Look at the signing McAllister and uh, Shobos like how they are playing. Um, they are not even playing. I uh, mean, uh, they don't even have a center defensive midfielder. They didn't even get a Fabinho replacement, proper Fabinho replacement. But still, how they are playing? How they are playing so well? They are playing. I think Liverpool is a league, league leaders, isn't it? Now, yeah, they're league Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then how they are playing? It's all about pride, passion, and also the manager knows what he's doing. The managers know how to get the best out of his players. They are playing Trent Alexander Arnold as a center defensive midfielder and they are giving full confidence on the players. Due to the other players are playing well, he's also getting more confidence. Here, the players who wants to do well also, seeing other players, atmosphere and everything, they are also getting demotivated. So where how performance will come? Full, I think it's coming right not only on the pitch. Outside the pitch, also behind the scenes, also it's very, very toxic. He has removed all the players, means he has removed all the staff, isn't it? This bully. Until unless this bully goes, nothing is going to change. He has removed all the backroom stuff and everything. He has changed the whole structure of this club, isn't it? So I think the players also felt like, oh, we are not uh, required here. That's why I think Mason Mount also has left. And all the players also have said that, okay, everybody is leaving. We don't have the... They have lost their moral support, I think. They lost their moral support. They lost their uh, yes men and everything. And that's why they are saying that oh, they, the owners don't care for us. The owners doesn't give a fuck about us. So why we should give the fuck about this club? Why should we play 100% on this pitch? Like that it is. Angry Ram man, whose fault is it? Is it a collection it's of It's right from the starting Todd Bowley. Then uh, uh, Todd Bowley. Then the uh, ownership, director of football, all recruitment, whoever is recruiting the things, all everybody is at fault. Manager of Austin is a disgrace. That's it, useless. 15 match matches have passed in, not even a single impactful substitution he has made. Not even a single impactful substitution he has made in the matches, even if we have won also. Only starting lineup he has done all right and tactics he was okay. But none of you see the 15 matches or 16 matches, one impactful substitution who changes the match. He has not made a single impactful substitution. Should he be so? What, what is he what is he doing as a manager? He literally, so he's I'm, not not a, a, I'm not impressed. People by said that he's a elite level manager. What is the elite level? He's not even a world class manager, he's a just a de decent manager. He's he's just a good manager. Should he be exactly sacked? angry Iron man? Should he be sacked? Next season, next season he should be sacked. Like he should not continue next season. If it if we don't finish uh, top six or top eight, he should not continue at all. Really, it's unacceptable, man. The standards has gone below, seriously. And people, some people are saying that we played better than uh, what we played against Newcastle and Manchester United against Everton. Like we started well, it seems. So this has become the standards. No, it's it's pretty. So we are better losers, isn't it? We are better losers. No, absolutely, man. Angry Ram man, apparently at Chelsea now, the biggest issue is height. We don't have height. We need more midfielders. Height. We need defenders. Height. We, and height he should not be encouraged. This Pochettino should not be encouraged to sign even uh, uh, more than two players in the January. He's saying that we need more players. Fuck off, man. You had your chance. You had your signings. You couldn't even... What is this Jackson is signing? Craxon Jackson only fans. He's not even listening to you. He's listening to only fans model. So this is your player. So you, why should we give another 200 million to you? Only maybe one signing, one striker, maybe in the January he should be given. That's it. 
and whatever players he has got, it's more than enough. Lavia is supposed to come, Nkunku is supposed to come. If you cannot make these players work, get lost. That's it. Get lost. No more uh, players. Three more players, four more players. Who are you? No shame. It seems like we give, have no Give strength. results, then we will give the money. Mm. Without results or anything, why we should give uh, 200, 300 million or 400 million, what he's asking again? Just to throw all the money down the drains, is it? Only and one signing, man. Cole Palmer has been a good signing. Other than that, all are a disaster. But even he, Cole Palmer is... Kaisedo not... is a me mega disaster. That Kaisedo guy, Dukure, have you seen Dukure how he played? Against oh, Everton. He looked apart, man, good. our midfield. Means he played 100 times more better than uh, Kaisedo. He had 100 times more energy. He had more enthusiasm. His uh, uh, tackles were superb. Means his, uh, then he had the mentality to win the ball back. And he was shooting well, he scored also. So he's all round midfielder, all round performance he has given. And our player, oh, Kaisedo is not a good shooter. He cannot shoot. Excuses after excuses after excuses after excuses. That's it. Bro, what is happening with Kaisedo? He was such a better player. What's going on? What's confidence. Happening? Confidence, mentality. He saw around him, there are not a uh, bunch of bad apples. So he also became, a good apple came and he also became poisonous. Simple as that. Even Nkunku, it's going to be the same case. First two matches, he might shine. He, show, he will show, show some spark. Then after that, he'll also get mixed around. If you are in the bunch of poison, even you'll turn poisonous. Simple as that. It's a rotten. This short bully should get lost. That's it. I don't know why people are not even trusting these owners. Out! He immediately. He can't go. He can't go. He's staying here for 10 years. That's the... That's then the then, then appoint a good director of football and appoint an elite level manager who will take hold of everything. Uh, appoint Jose Mourinho and give him all control of things and let him take over the job. Whatever he wants, do it. You, you, you would want him back, right? Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho is the only man this summer who can save this club. Other than that, I don't see anybody who can change this club because he knows the culture of this club. He started with the thing, right? Under Roman Abramovich, he only started the regime, like successful regime. So he knows what is the culture at this club, how this club functions and everything. And the owner should give full control to him and he should do. Then only he will come. But if the owners are acting cocky and saying that, no, it's my way or the highway, he'll not come. No elite manager will come to our club. So we are doomed. You know what the, who the owners are thinking? Well, the, who they were thinking before uh, when they were looking at Pochettino. They're looking at uh, Thomas Frank from Brentford. Ah, fuck all people means they don't have any clue about football they don't have any clue how it works they are thinking it as a what is that american sport they are also the draft things is there or something is there they'll they'll pick up young players they think every players will turn like we'll sign young players so we'll sign this uh cole palmer he thinks that this uh, means we signed cole palmer kaisedo then who is this place we signed uh disaster that uh, a disaster or something that's between uh, PC is so pathetic, means they are so pathetic, man, you don't, you that I can't even to. remember their names properly. Like, I feel like ashamed disaster. to speak out their names also. Like, that much of unlikable bunch these players are. So, that disaster is there. He thought that everybody will become Giannis Atete Kumpo. The young players will become Greek freak. Like that, they think, American. Like, one you lucky, know. oh, one lucky we are buying here. Oh, what if he turns out to be a wonder kid and what if he uh, scores like that? So, they are playing a lottery. They, they are believing in lottery, that's it. So whatever signings that are, out of five plus one will become great lottery. Like you cannot. Football is not lottery, man. It's sports. You're not running a lottery ticket. Go to, if you want to uh, do lottery and all, go to sell the club and do lottery. <laughs> go play with lottery tickets. Uh, uh, spend your money in lottery tickets. Don't spend on the football club. Don't play with the emotions with the fans. So you don't rate uh, Desasi at all? Uh, He's good. He's decent player, but... Not uh, that standard, not even uh, means 20-30% uh, of uh, Rudiger, man. Not even 20% of Rudiger. Where Rudiger was, was that level? Class. He was a good defender, Rudiger. Rudiger, energy, energetic Rudiger. Not even 10% uh, not even, uh, of even uh, this guy, man. Uh, Christiansen. They were fit. Like 15-16 games, easily they could pull out. Here they are playing 5 games, then they are getting injured. And that too, we are not even playing Champions League football. We are not even playing European League football. Midweek, there's there are no matches. We are winning one match in one month. So these are the standards. You know, we've got Klopp's team. Klopp's the, the, team. Uh, they are playing three matches in a week. They are winning two out of those three matches. That is the process. Look at Aston Villa how they are playing. Look at Aston Villa how they are playing. Okay. Look at Newcastle how they are playing. They are half of the team is hospitalized. Yet they are winning out of three matches. They are winning two matches out of three matches. Yes, now dip off form came, but at least we are seeing there is some process. Like we can see, they are getting exposed a little bit because of tiresome. Means their their players' legs are getting tired. That's why they are losing now. 
But again, they'll come back once their players are fit and everything. They'll come back and they'll play well. So we can mm -hmm. see here there is no means. Even if we are playing well, we are not getting the three points comfortably, man. So we have forgot how to win well. match. We don't even huh? play well. We don't even play well. No, we played well against Arsenal and Manchester City, right? We yeah, played well. There also we didn't get three points. Hmm. See, now this season means this season and last season were so pathetic. That's why the fans are accepting that. Oh, what a performance and everything. But the Arsenal match was supposed to uh, means will be considered as a loss uh, under Prime Jose Mourinho. Will be considered as a pathetic performance. That was the standards. Win, win, win. After having two nil lead, if you are giving away the ball straight to Declan Rice like that, mm. it's considered a defeat. Actually, absolutely, you cannot absolutely. the goalkeepers and ridiculous. Five matches ago against Arsenal, they came to know that this uh, Sanchez's ball distribution is pathetic. He cannot pass the ball from the back. Why are they playing continuously the ball from the back? This just shows that manager is completely out of his depth. Mm. So they are not learning from the mistakes also. Then how if you are not learning from your mistakes, if you are uh, keeping on repeating your same mistakes, one after the other, one after the other, one after the other, then how uh, means where will be the improvement? Nothing man, nothing. No hopes, nothing. This season 15-16. Uh, right, man. We've apparently in the year of 2023, this calendar year, 39 matches, 39 points. Like... Whatever it is, whatever it is, I lost count also. So it's pathetic means seeing the performance and seeing the results and everything. Like the fans also, some of the fans also have lost interest actually. A losing interest. Absolutely. Really, Absolutely. man. We, now they're talking about, as I said, buying more players. They're looking to sell the players they bought. They're looking to sell them as but well. That's okay. You can sell out some players. You can sell out. You can sell out if you get good prices and sell out. Get in good players, but get in Premier League proven players. That's okay. That's okay. You can do it. Definitely, you can do it. If Jose Mourinho no comes in, he'll take no out half of this. Huh? No more kids. No more kids. No, no more, more kids. kids. Get experienced players. That's it. Get experienced players. Mixture. Get. There's no balance in this team. There's no balance in this team. And all the youngsters are playing. Then midfield also full youngsters. Enzo and all these players, youngsters. It's like full youngsters. There should be some experience. Mixture of experience as well as uh, youngsters. Then it will be good. Here are full youngsters. If you play, there will be no balance, man. It's like men's against boys every matches. I mean, Come on. For, in that sense, we should allow to see Pochettino a little bit longer. Like get, get some more experienced players just to give him a chance to see what he can do with the experienced players? Like... Uh, I would uh, like, there is no interim manager right now. It will not make any difference if we sack him now. This thing Because there's not, like, there'll be not much difference. I think give him end of the season maybe. Or if he's, if the results is going more pathetic, like next three matches or four matches, if you lose all that, then it's extreme situation, then sack him. Or else give him end of the, this thing and sack him. That's it. Because if you don't finish top eight, then I think he should be sacked. Simple. No more I time. Mean, look at Target was top six. Target yeah. was top six. Actually, target should be top four. What Roman Abramovich yeah. has said, but it's okay. Excuses have been given. Top six, okay. Top six is the target. You couldn't achieve it. Get lost. That's it. No nothing. This, this is what I said as well last season. Off the back of last season finishing, I thought top six is reasonable. Obviously, we had. I, I mean, looking back now, it seems like it was a bad transfer market for us. But I thought off the back of who we bought. What bad maybe... transfer market, man? If the players we have got right. Any They're club talented. who have got talented. the set of players we have got, they would have made it work. They would have made it work. All all are my means hierarchy, good, decent players. But they are playing like street footballers. They are playing like uh, means what to say, man. So, uh, beach footballers they are playing. They are not playing like proper footballers. Beach level football they are playing. No discipline, full uh, angry mode, full uh, uh, then uh, can't even string two passes together. It's looking like as if their legs are stuck in the sand. Like that, they are playing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Angry Ram man. I mean, how how do has Pochettino meant to change this? Sheffield United coming up. I feel like right now I'm not sure how you change all of this. We we're in such a bad form. We're in such a bad mental state. How do we change this, man? People are he saying we're going to lose against. He should change. We're going to lose against Sheffield United. He should. He should stick to the basics. And I don't understand why is he playing left back as a right back, then center back as a right back. Why is he doing all these experiments? Left back Kukurela is playing as a right back. What is this? Why is he not trusting Matson as a left back? And he's not tall. Height, height, 
height is required. What height? <laughs> what height? <laughs> this, this is what Pochettino As if Roberts, Robertson is height. <laughs> Trippier is height. Height only matters. Trippier is short. Trippier is short. Trippier is short, isn't, isn't it? it? Trippier is short. How is he playing? So, well, what height? The only thing height is, I think, what to say? He expects everyone to be Burj Khalifa or what? Height. <laughs> He expects everyone to be Burj Khalifa, man. Said. <laughs> so, so this height business is not. This is this is a poor excuse. What height? What height? If we play full attacking football, there'll be no point of height. We'll score four, five goals, and two goals we'll concede. We win the match. Simple. Apparently, Levi Colwell is playing as a left back because of height. We have short players. He's yeah, yeah, you player. please leave. Ah, if he makes these blunders, Pochettino makes these blunders. Okay. If he makes these blunders, first thing, if he makes these blunders, selection, if he doesn't do properly, and if you are getting embarrassed and humiliated, and if you are not learning, improving, and if you are not uh, learning from our mistakes, same mistakes, also, then after three, four games, he can be sacked. Simple. Earlier, when we, I was growing up as a kid, we used to compare Wayne Rooney with Didier Drogba. Who is a better striker? We used to fight. Now yeah. it is like, who is going to get first sack? Eric Ten Hag or Pochettino? Like that it is the conversation <laughs> is going on. Which manager now will get sacked first? Now that's yeah. The Which manager will get sacked first? That is that is quite embarrassing. Mr. Machoka is saying, rant man today, the uh, caretaker will kick you out of that flat. <laughs> Rafael Leal is saying, might need to bring top class ballers in January, another 500 million incoming. I mean, rant man, do you get embarrassed when we are going to go in the market again after spending a 1 billion pounds? We're going to have to spend again. Then we are going to get, I'm telling you, we are going to get a points deduction. I'm telling you. Okay, now yeah, Premier League has become strict. FFP. But first yeah. of all, we should have points not to get deducted. <laughs> we should have points also to de get deducted, isn't it? <laughs> so if we get 20 points deduction, we'll be minus. So we should have points also, right, to deduct, get deducted. Imagine we only have 19 and they deduct 20. What's going to happen? Minus one. <laughs> Whatever it is. So, see, man, <clears throat> solution is get a striker. If Oshiman wants to come, get him. That's it. That's it. Bro, and whatever players you have, play with them. And if, if required, if required, get a left back. If is there, if, if, if it's required, get a left back. That's it. Spend the thing and sell some of the idiots. Like who doesn't want to play, sell them off. That's it. What do you think like about Maduweke? Maduweke. If he's not, not interested, you can sell him. Um, why is he not given chance also? I really don't understand. <laughs> he's not even in the squad. He's not even injured. He doesn't even get in the squad. So it looks like he's not part of the Who future. is these guys? Gillespie, all these players, some players are Cricketers. there. He's there making Cricketers. the bench. Cricketers. <laughs> Gillespie. Those guys are making Gil bench. Like really Gilchrist. ridiculous. Gilchrist. And Gilchrist making in the bench. Gilchrist cricket. <laughs> 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 like embarrassing. Like main players. So the bench strength is also nothing is there. How will we win? You tell me. Uh, who is Matos? Who is this Matos? Oh, Wonder Kid, so called Wonder Kid. I think they're not Wonder Kid actually. They are Shagging Kid. That's it. <laughs> shaggy Kids. Scooby Doo, Shaggy. Scooby Doo is there, right? Shaggy and the Scooby Doo. Oh my God. Shaggy Kids. Um, so, Postino is be behaving like Johnny Bravo. That's it. Com completely. Like ridiculous. All these experiments, he is a complete failure. Like that, he has become. And I think he's doing it on purpose. Like he was a Spurs manager. He's like, oh, Chelsea were 2015-16. Uh, you didn't allow us to win the title, isn't it? Now I'm oh here. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> like that, I think he's doing. Purposely, he's do doing think, this. I think. Do you think he's taking revenge? He's taking yeah, revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct only. But uh, he's pretending that oh, it's uh, no problem. Uh, like he's pretending angry, but actually he's taking internal revenge. It's looking like that. Twenty analogy, analogy like that. Oh, 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 oh ridiculous. Angry right man, what he said in the beginning of the season, we want to win today, we want to win tomorrow, we want to win yesterday, day before, and now we are... Yeah, yeah, it's just club. like, now it's just like says, going no. in, uh, yeah, it's just like uh, preparing for a competitive exam. So first 10 days, full enthusiasm and everything. Oh, we are going to crack this, we are going to crack that, we are going to do solve chemistry, physics, maths and everything. <laughs> then after seeing the difficulties and everything, oh, who will do and this thing, we'll be sleeping in the bed only, that's it. It's same like that only. Simple as... <laughs> Understanding what I'm saying, correct, I isn't it? it? I got it, bro. I used to do that. 
ఫిష్ మార్కెట్ or whether you are selling even slippers shoes everywhere discipline is a key point simple as that brother you're too funny hey what about robert sanchez he's now looks like maybe he's injured we have the new goalkeeper petrovic what do you think about what do you think about that <laughs> we don't even have a backup keeper guys we don't even have a backup keeper That's like a proper backup keeper we don't have but everyone There's was no saying give petrovic a chance everyone was saying give petrovic a chance let's see what he does let's see all the best wish him all the best hopefully he saves our season hopefully he makes some wonderful saves and he proves his worth until unless he plays a proper 90 minutes will not we can't judge him isn't it hopefully his distribution ball distribution is better hopefully hopefully he doesn't pass us to the opposition hopefully he doesn't concede own goal sanchez all he does is pass to the opposition yeah his ball distribution is pathetic yet yet our players are playing to him like playing back side back ways 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 continuously sideways 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 and that's a final third see man last season also final third was pathetic this season also final third is pathetic bro so what, what is happening what is happening what what are the they players training? are they are training finished. are they training they are just enjoying that's it <laughs> they enjoying. are taking the wages and enjoying I said just that's all enjoying. <laughs> what are they enjoying bro what are they enjoying salary wages mm. everybody uh, seriously man see uh, jao felix he was uh, really bad for us like he was not that well but for barcelona is playing well decent good only mm-hmm. yeah yeah pulisic in ac milan's doing good rob off the streak rob off the streak doing well playing well way better than us hakim ziyech galatasaray doing well exactly see how he plays <laughs> lukaku roma doing well i don't know lukaku i i, I didn't watch but uh, ziyech uh what Which a player man like he was really good for chelsea also he played well last season he didn't even get chance so that's what happens man mentality is missing in our club is toxic from the top to bottom physios are not doing their work properly canteen staff are not feeding them properly <laughs> dietitian is not doing properly see that i'm not joking all this much of frequent injuries it doesn't man, happen he's blaming the canteen staff <laughs> bro leave no, the no, canteen it's staff. everywhere everywhere is interrelated like i'm telling you this much of injuries i've never seen injury prone players like you play two games then you get injured Reece and James again you are out again. for 3 weeks reach james yeah. injured again reach james where is malo gutso where is he uh, he's gone he's finished he's injured that is <laughs> so that just shows on top to bottom you are rotten man in that to if you, okay we could have given excuses that if you are playing two games a week like we if you are playing champions league or europa league then that could have been okay fine they are playing too many matches and they are winning some and they are giving the 100% that's why the players are getting injured you are not even playing midweek matches you are playing four matches in a month that also you cannot stay 100% fit full season if you cannot get uh, be committed and get lost what about chukumika as well they said he was meant to be back four weeks it's been three months they'll be back definitely they'll be back uh, to the uh, what to say to the mansions not at the training ground or at the pitch definitely No I have nothing to say man I've lost for words actually the seeing the status really really man last season I thought it's a write off this season we started really well against Liverpool and all we started then we dipped in form then against City and Arsenal we played well thought something is cooking but it's the same thing all together that's it now I don't trust anybody it's that's crazy, it crazy man it is absolutely crazy um what what else you expect Everton if they didn't have the 10 points deduction then they would have been ahead they, of us they, and in front of us in front of us absolutely exactly right. and you see San, Sean Dyche that's the quality of a manager how he improved Dukure whereas Lampard he was he couldn't even handle Dukure properly that's the standard of the manager you're right man you're right um uh, that's the proper feet. manager Eddie how what is doing with Newcastle that's the process Emery such a underrated manager look how he's playing with Aston Villa man look how he's bringing out the best out of Bailey Leon yeah. Bailey what a pl- what performance he's giving then John McGinn who is not oh. even ca- considered as a proper player My defensive midfield is not even yes. rated see how is he playing John McGinn 
no no one talked about John McGinn a couple of seasons ago. Now everyone wants John McGinn. Everyone. Everyone wants John yeah. McGinn. Yeah. Then he's bringing the out the best Perez. out of Oli Watkins. He's a good player. I know Watkins is always playing. So he's bringing out best. He's bringing out best out of everyone. They got Tillemans also. He's a good player. Then they got that. Uh, who's that guy? Uh, uh, Paul Torres, I think, plays for Torres. Aston Villa. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Then they uh, Douglas they have Lewis, the uh, who's the left back? Dini is the left back. See how we yeah, played. Yeah, look at Dean. Yeah, look at Dean. Very good player. Yeah. So that's the manager. That's the manager who gets the best out of the players. Proper manager. And I think they have the Carlos or someone as a centre back, right? Diego, Isn't it? Diego Carlos. Diego Carlos. Yeah. Yes. He's also playing well. So that's the player. That's that's the team. How he transformed the team. And Aston Villa, nobody consider considered them to finish top four. Like the way no they're way. playing. They're challenging no for way. title. They're challenging for title. Then. Useless. No excuses whatsoever, man. No excuses whatsoever. No, Even no, City, no. they are saying that, oh, City are also not playing well. They are also in the bad form. We'll also come back. It's Where is Manchester City and where are we? They are treble winners. Last season, did you see they won the treble? Even mm. they won the Champions League, man. Even they won the Champions League. No, Their crazy, fortune man. also has changed. It's absolutely crazy. And this um, amount, they, uh, these people that are defending uh, the thing, like the season which Manchester City had last season, this season, even if they play bad, if they finish top four also, it's forgivable. Mm. The amount of season successes they had. Angry Red Man, few people are saying, would you take um, Sari? Would you take, would you entertain Sari at Chelsea Football Club again? Yeah, why not? Yeah, definitely. He was actually be... a good coach, man. He was a good manager. Sorry, he was, was a fan. Uh, he was better than all these lot, Graham Potter and this Pochettino, way better. And and recently, Sari said that he regrets leaving Chelsea. It was his decision to leave? But he yeah, regrets. I know, I know that. Yeah, he only left the, because the, because of the transfer ban. He thought that already with quality players only, I couldn't means uh, win anything. Like I won the Europa League, still the fans wanted me out. So he was scared of the failure. Like. Next season, it is going to be more pathetic because new players are coming, youngsters are coming. So if I don't reach the targets, they'll be wanting me, they'll be hounding me out. So in that fear, he left. Simple. Oh. Angry man, we're going to slowly wrap things up. I want to ask you, if we don't beat Sheffield United, w I mean, how do we continue? If we don't beat Sheffield United at home, can Pochettino survive? 70-30, man. 70% will be sacked, 30% will su survive. I mean, it will be the if lowest. It depends how we lose. Uh, if we draw, I don't know. If we lose in like 3-0, then definitely is getting sacked. But if we lose maybe like 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. I think it's probably going to be a 1-0 or something. A lot of people are saying we might lose against Sheffield United. They, lo I mean, they have lost hopes. All the fans have lost hopes. Yeah. Like we don't have oxygen, man, anymore to speak. Like we lost our oxygen. I think we have to uh, donate our heart also next time. Already eyes have been donated every match day. It's just the eyes, the heart as well. <laughs> it's crazy. No, it's man. Crazy, Finished, man. man. It's too much. Really, man. We are tired. We are sick and tired. We, enough is enough, man. Really. Boli needs to go. Boli has to sell this club, actually. He cannot run this club. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have the, uh, means, uh, what to say. He doesn't have the acumen to run a football club. Yeah. He doesn't know anything. His uh, f uh, plotting, planning, everything has failed badly. He's there just for the business. That's it. By the young stuff. So he can manage a strip club, but not a football club. <laughs> Definitely. I don't want to si sound uh, this thing, but it's like that only. No, you're right. You're right. It does It does feel like he, he absolutely has no idea about football. He actually has zero idea. And about he's there just for the business. Eunice said it pro perfectly. Eunice said it perfectly that these owners are there for the business. That's it. They just want to sign these young players, get a proper price for them and sell them off and stay stable with the financial fair play. That's it. And any billionaire owner, if they sign, a, if they buy a football club, they can get a hell lot of money out of that. You can mint a lot of this merchandise. There is uh, match day tickets. There's a lot of things. There's sponsorship, ad deals, everything. The billions you can get over the years. It's crazy. It's huge man, money. Right. It's like a huge asset. But these players will have to do well to get good price. Like if we keep doing poorly, then no one's going to... None of the, none of the big clubs also like are attracted to our players. None of the big clubs. No one is attracted to our players. No, no one, one is attracted to Enzo. No one is attracted to... Is anyone attracted the, to Mudrik? Our, is anyone attracted to Mudrik? Disaster. Mudrik? Nobody. Is huh? anyone attracted to Mudrik? Fuck all. He's useless. Who signed him? God only knows. I think Boli signed him. 
It's not even <laughs> what is the thing is a wonder Bolly kid. He plays well and everything. That was a Bowley signing. That was a Bowley signing. He he signed him. Everything was last season. Everything was a Bowley signing. Everything was a Bowley signing, man. Everything. Mudrik was a Bowley signing. Kukurella was a uh, means maybe uh, uh, Uspa signing. Kukurella also was a Bowley signing only. Everybody. He didn't. Uh, Tuchel hardly signed any player. I think Kukurella came last season in the uh, summer, isn't it? Kukurella has come in. Yeah. So it's yeah. a Bowley signing. Yeah, these are all Bowley signing, and then they bought a lot of players in January as well. You know, David Datra Fofana, um, no. Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez was obviously ownership signing as well. They really badly won, but even Enzo Fernandez is not doing well now. No one's doing well. Enzo Fernandez not doing well. Caicedo not doing well. Only one is doing well is Gallagher in midfield, and they're looking to sell Gallagher. Only one who Gallagher also I don't rate him that much. Hmm. Like he's not that level or anything. But it's okay compared to others. He's playing well. Cole Palmer is the only guy who I rate in the squad, man. Seriously, I'm speaking. Cole Palmer. Everyone else is just not good. Everyone useless. Else is not good. Even Sterling, I thought that he'll play well, but with the experience he has, with his age and thing, he should be doing really well. If it's this milestone season, then he should play like a milestone player. He should score left, right, and center like 17, 18 goals we expect from him. That also you are not doing means what milestone season? With seven eight goals, it cannot be a milestone season. With seven eight goals and two three assists, it's not a milestone season. Yes, if you are a relegated team, then it can be a milestone season. Like if you are finishing eighteen nineteen, then it's a milestone season. But if you are finishing like if you are finish behaving like a top six club, then that's never a milestone season. True, true, true. At true. least if, if no individual brilliance, no team efforts, then what are we good for, man? As what you are said, we good for? everything besides football, we are good for everything yeah. besides football. See, under Sari. The team chemistry was not that good, but there was individual brilliance. Hazard yeah. was brilliant that season. He bailed us, and he because of his performances and everything, match week after match week, we could finish top four and we could yeah. win the Europa League, isn't it? It was like a yeah. one-man yeah, yeah. show. Yeah. So there's that also the X factor is missing. So what are we good for? I don't know why Hazard re retired. He could have come and he should have shown the players that what is Chelsea means he, for. He didn't. He didn't want to join this. He to exactly. Him. His reputation is better to retire, stay at home than to join these lot. He felt. <laughs> TC, <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat. We belong in the championship. Hope you boys are well. We're doing fine. All right, we're going to wrap things up. Angry Ram, man, thank you so much for your time. Brother, give me some last, any hope, any hope, something. Give me some hope. Pray to God. Hope, hope. Pray to God and that's it. That's it. Pray to God. It. Pray to God. Just that's it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all very, very soon. Uh, until next time, everyone. Make sure if you don't have not subscribed to God save us. Man. That's it. God, God save us. Subscribe to Andy, uh, Angry Rant Man as well. And if you're here for the first time as well, subscribe. Until next time, everyone. Take care and see you.